there, stay there. If you have stamina and strength, you can do it. If you keep now your fingers backward, peacock has its fingers extended onto the back. It becomes Mayura Padmasana. Peacock in lotus. Keep your elbows beside your navel and lift it up. And try to straighten your entire body, holding it. And you can swing to and fro. You can keep it straight flat, parallel to the ground. Keep inhaling, exhaling and come back. So we are doing all the variants in the Padmasana. If you have strength, stamina in your hands, you can do that. And further, if you are flexible enough to strengthen your shoulders, you want to swing, you can do Dolasana, swing. Your children want to swing or you want to swing, who doesn't want to swing, swing to and fro and sit down. Now we go on to Kukutasana. So Kukuta, the cock in the village, wakes you up early in the morning at four o'clock to set your biological clock. So insert your hands between the gap between your ankle and your thigh and your calf joint. You need to have a lot of flexibility to do this posture, to insert your hands like that. From the hole between your ankle and your thigh and calf joint. And insert your hands from that, gain stability and just jump up. Let energy move up from Muladhar up to your Swadhisthan and from Swadhisthan to the digestive and up to Vishuddhi, cock posture, your hands straight and like on a groove your seat moves up and Garbhapindasana. A child sits in the mother's womb like this, Garbhapindasana, you have enough flexibility and balance, you can hold your fingers. Your body looks straight. Just sitting on your hips, the center of the hips on a small narrow area. You are balancing entire body in Garbhapindasana. Keep inhaling, exhaling. Good for mobilizing the energy in your spine and now lie down like when mother lies down in the bed the child in the womb sleeps like this so close your ears you hear a sound that is called anahat inhale and slowly come back With this almost girl, Padmasana Vargha, the lotus posture, the group of postures in the lotus are finished. Next we go on to the Shirasana Vargha. So we are moving from one posture to the other posture, from one Vargha to the other Vargha. Energy moves up from one level to the other level, from one chakra to the other chakra. Now bringing in flexibility in your sciatica and pull, hold your right thigh with the right hand, hold your right foot with the left hand, inhale, pull it back, feeling the stretch in your right thigh joint and then move it horizontally. You are fanning your foot, ensure no tension in your foot. Move it sideways and take your foot slowly 
up and down up and down and try to keep it over the right shoulder left shoulder and then slowly upward to take over your entire neck hold it keep it there on the back your leg so then say namaste ekapadashirasana the single leg inhale in exhalation bend forward and keep your head forehead down hold it completely it brings the mobility into the left side of the stomach good for the stomach and now you can swing going back from the going back to the original position now you can keep swinging keep your right leg elbow on to the back keep swinging keep swinging to and fro inhale exhale inhale and exhale inhale exhale works on your sciatica elongate your spine completely and you can do if you want namaskar in this mudra shayana ekapada pranamasana try to keep your leg straight your left leg straight your right leg on to the back behind your neck and keep your palms together you are resting like a sofa on to your leg on to your right leg shirasana varka the group of postures and the variants in the shirasana varka once again swing and come back now you have a good balance and slowly now you can even stand fold your left foot bring it close to the chest and try to stand up now inhale and try to stand up straight up uthana ek padashirasan inhale and stay there in exhalation in the same posture bend forward bend forward keeping your leg intact on the neck and slowly sit down your back to your original posture keep in inhaling exhaling and relax now open up your right leg from the top now we are going to do the other way round so just relax your right knee up and down inhale now stretch your right leg out and now keep preparing with the left leg holding your left thigh with the left hand holding your left foot with the right hand inhale pull exhale push bring a you know, flexibility in the thigh good for solving problems with the sciatica and bringing in flexibility in your thigh joint and move it horizontally no tension in the foot move it sideways take it over to the right shoulder and slowly up and down and over the neck keep it over the neck inhale and do the namaste this is a perfect posture in this way when it looks 
depends on the angle of the camera. So they can make you look better, they can make you look worse. Now keep swinging, sweep, keep swinging. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, rock and roll. <coughs> Good for the entire spine, sciatica. And now you can do the namaste and bend forward. Hold your left foot with the right hand and bend forward. Keeping your head down completely, foot down completely. And your left ankle, bend inhale forward and exhale. Keeping your left foot and right foot down inhale, completely. Slowly come up. Inhale up. And keep your leg firmly. Just relax your back to and fro. Inhale up, exhale down. So now you can straighten your right legs into the front. You can do your sitting in a chair, arm chair, relaxing chair. Feel the stretch on the back, the energy is further moving up on the back in the spine. Inhale, stretch your right leg and come back. Now you want to stand, you can stand on your right leg, other variant. Fold your right knee and keep your leg straight. Try to straighten your even chest up, inhale and then bend forward, come over to the right knee, keep your hands resting beside your foot, stay there and inhale and slowly in exhalation sit down onto right foot, straighten your right leg, 